Sir Keir Starmer has declared that Labour needs to modernise in order to stand a chance of being elected again. The leader of the opposition said his party, which has been out of power for 11 years, um, he told the Observer, in order to win that election, we have to win the future. Not sure what that means. He added, we have to modernise. We have to be the party of the next 20 years, not the party that looks back at the last 10. He said, you could have had something else if you'd voted for Labour. Uh, Marina, Keir Starmer, has he got the X factor? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he's got the X factor, although I do quite like him. I, there is something about him that I, that I kind of warm to when I see him on TV. But it probably, you know, I mean, he hasn't got the X factor, I wouldn't say. <laughs> but there is something about him that I think is, is quite nice which is probably not the right thing to say, really. But well, I mean, if that's, if that's your impression, what do you, yeah. do you perceive him just to be like a decent man? Yes. Is, that, is that what comes across? Yeah, I think he, he does come across as, be, as being quite decent. And I don't know if, it, if it's just if it's the way that he's kind of, you know, trying to, to get it across. I don't know if it, if it is actually him or whether it is an act. But um, I, whenever I see him, I kind of think that I think that he's... And he's quite well liked, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Yeah, the X Factor, well, not so sure. Mark, is he, I mean, that, that's the question, Marina. Is he, is he a sort of vanilla candidate? Is he somebody that, you know, people don't feel particularly strongly about? And, and maybe that's a good way to try to get elected? Yeah, quite possibly. I think he's, he's somebody, um, you know, in my opinion, that, that a lot of people quite like. Um, and I don't know any... I don't really know anyone who really dislikes him. Like you say, he's quite vanilla. He's kind, he kind of, you know, he's, he's just... He's, like I said before, he's nice. It's a, it's a very weird word to use, and a lot of people don't like the word nice, but he is... When I see him, I always think he's, he comes across as nice. Well, I just wonder, uh, Marina's raised an interesting theme there, Mercy. Could he be Labour's John Major? Now, I know that John Major is not necessarily, <laughs> you know, compared to Winston Churchill or Margaret Thatcher, but... He did win an election against the odds for the Tories uh, in the 1990s and certainly achieved mm. considerable um, success with the Northern Ireland peace process. Yeah. And, and I think actually history has been quite kind to John Major. So could that be the option for Keir Starmer being sort of Labour's major? I don't think he's liked at all. I mean, he, he's either not liked at all, you know, people just don't think about him at all because of how absolutely vanilla and dull he is. And they've been behind uh, the Conservatives in the poll for God knows how many weeks now. So uh, yes. the idea that they would sort of turn it around, uh, you know, they, they were starting from a low bar, let's be honest, to, to begin with, uh, with Jeremy Corbyn. So it couldn't have got much worse than that, uh, in, in my opinion. But the the problem with Keir Starmer and the Labour Party is they've lost touch with working class people. That's shown in, in all the statistics, in all the polling data and in all the voting behaviour data. People, a lot of working class people just don't see Labour as their party anymore. And part of that is because they adopted this and can continue to adopt this ultra woke uh, agenda and they've lost cultural touch with what working class communities are like. So whatever Keir started, I didn't even understand half of what he was saying there. It just sounded like empty platitudes, uh, to be honest. And I have absolutely no hope that they'll ever get in power. Well, is Marina onto adults. something when she says that he's liked in certain constituencies, such as London? Yeah, rich, here. yeah, middle class people who own homes in London with big gardens. I think that's his constituency yes i'd agree with that yeah the furlough the furlough generation gaunty keir starmer are you having him uh, not if i can help it john major was famous for tucking his uh, shirt into his underpants do you remember yes well i'm telling you now keir starmer will never be prime minister or leader of our great great country whilst i've still got a hole in my underpants there is absolutely tmi no john way. tmi <laughs> oh, your underpants. Let's, let listen, me just, let me listen, just tell I, you, though. I wasn't going to let you away with that Hawaiian shirt. Let's not get onto your underwear. It's not Hawaiian, it's a pineapple. But anyway, <laughs> I thought brighten up your day. Listen to me. I actually believe that this is what will happen. Keir Starmer will be gone very, very soon. The only chance they've got, and it's a slight chance, is Andy Burnham. Because Andy Burnham is in touch with those working-class voters. And those working-class voters are beginning to turn against the Tories because of what's happened uh, during the pandem pandemic mm. and particularly during the pingdemic, as you've called it.